Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Bonjour, mbote et sain jambo hola kitu to all my friends around the world. My name is Louise aka Auntie Lou. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new here, hi, thank you for stopping by. Please do subscribe and join Auntie Lou's team and as you can see from the title, friends, how old is too old or how young is too young to join social media? We're gonna go straight into the video. <laughs> well, Auntie Lou here has been told by her sisters and her friends that she just i'm just a bit too much of an old school but i like to differ i like to say no yes i do like old school and i appreciate the a lot of things from how things used to be in the 90s i really do but i wouldn't say i'm so much of an old school it's just that there's certain things that i'm just slow slow at you know coming into or understanding or having the willingness to to just join in I like to take my time and observe the situation I don't I don't just follow you know like what everybody else is doing I take my time like how long has YouTube been around and I've never thought of, of joining YouTube or start filming it's been here for years it's been around for years and years and years but when I became ready I decided to join so now I am not such an old school am I girls and boys hmm? to my friends and sisters out there who used to always laugh at me and be like oh my gosh like my sister one time asked me Louise, yeah Louise, oh, she, they don't call me Louise, they say, yeah Louise, are you ever going to join Facebook? And I was like, Facebook, why? Why do I need to join Facebook? And she was like, you can find friends and they can find you if you join Facebook, it's easy for people to, to find you. It's like, no, like, if, all my friends, all my friends, the people that I actually value and talk to, they have been part of my life for, for as long as I can remember. So I have friends that I've been friends with for 20 years. I have friends that I've been friends with for 15 years. So basically I have friends from secondary school, from college, from university and some recent friends that I've made when I became a parent and then that's that I feel like that circle what I have is enough and if I've lost track of certain friends I feel like maybe it was it was time for us to to part ways I don't know why I need to use Facebook so basically I am not on Facebook I've never been I don't have a Facebook account, I don't have a Twitter, I don't have whatever, whatever things that are out there, TikTok, the only one that I have <laughs> is YouTube and WhatsApp and Instagram is the latest one and the only reason why I have Instagram is because of my YouTube channel my sisters for well you need to advertise a bit more you can't just send your your whatsapp link on you on um, on whatsapp so you need to open a, a, a instagram account so i did and so far i haven't i haven't found any of my old friends from secondary school on instagram so i guess my theory was right in the first place that if you part ways with people you probably won't need the need for you to see them won't be there anymore and even 
what's up I have a funny story <laughs> so I have a friend who used to live here and moved to Ghana so when he moved to Ghana and then we lost contact so we lost contact his number didn't go through anymore and one day he called my house number you see see the importance of just making sure that your friends have their your number and you have their numbers so even though we lost contact like mobile wise but he had my house number and he called the house number and we got talking and he had a whatsapp account and he was like oh do you have a whatsapp account and i'm like yeah well actually i didn't have it so i was like oh i i don't have it but my sister has so i'm gonna call you from her her account and that's how until you got a whatsapp account and i remember the first time when i started sending a message to oh my alarm clock on the on the watch there it's literally it's late i'm filming like it's 12 midnight and i'm telling you a story oh my gosh anyways friends so because of um that friend of mine that moved to ghana i then couldn't just keep talking to him through my sister's phone so I opened an account a whatsapp account on my phone downloaded the app and then I text my sisters my friend and everybody was like oh my gosh you actually have a whatsapp account what well, everybody was like well you're a bit late but welcome to whatsapp and I was like oh well thank you <laughs> thank you thank you so I got a lot of welcome on joining whatsapp for my friends and sisters and family members so but apart from WhatsApp that I feel like I've been on WhatsApp for about six years now I've had a WhatsApp account for about six years now apart from that and the Instagram I've had it for maybe five months now apart from that I do not have any other social media account and I had my reason. I seen my sisters having a very on and off relationship with with their social media, with Facebook and tic, what's the other one that they use? Snapchat and they're just oh, they're like, oh my gosh, they're always complaining. Oh, the things that people show on these things. Oh my gosh, this is so fake. Oh my gosh, this. They're always complaining about it. So I'm like, what's the point of having it? If you're always going to be complaining and comparing and you might as well just not have it. And as a parent, I'm just really, I'm really scared that my children are going to become, oh, social media addict or something because I just feel like the way the world is moving is so digital that I don't know if I'll be able to stop them because already everybody's telling me oh just let them have a phone let them have these let them have a PlayStation let them have this let them have so many things and sometimes as a parent you just feel like well why do they need to have all these things all their friends are in the same school they got same like they go and see their friends in the school why do they need to have a TikTok account? Why do they need to have this and that? I just feel like unless your child has um, a very unique or technique or something that you feel like it can, can, that they can share with other people out there that could inspire other people, maybe, maybe I might consider them having a, become, having a social media account. But for now, mm, mm, sorry kids, but you're not gonna have it anytime soon. I will think about it when you turn 18. <laughs> They'll be thinking, what? 18? What? But I don't know. Maybe as time goes, <laughs> I might change my mind. But I just, I don't see. The need for children to have a social media account so soon like so early I've had a social media account in my late 20s so I don't know parents 
children, young people out there, do you really think Auntie Lou is really, really old school? Because I just don't really, don't really see the need to have a social media account. Do you think, am I wrong for thinking this way? Am I, am I really like, am I exaggerating? Am I exaggerating with my thinking, with the way I want to, with the way I want to raise my children? Because I feel like I want them to stay young for as long as possible, obviously. I don't want them to be like baby, baby, like, oh, mommy, I can't do this, I can't. No, I want them, I want to teach them skills, like, skills which I feel like maybe schools are not teaching them. I want to teach them time management. I want to teach them about how to start a business. I want to teach them about money, their finance. I want to teach them about exercising and staying healthy, eating healthy, which they probably are very, very healthy compared to me because they run around all the time. They go, they play football. They're always out in the trampoline. I reckon they are pretty healthy. They're very, very healthy compared to me. So in exercise wise, maybe I'm telling myself until you need to exercise. <laughs> until you need to exercise so my friend you know who you are i think i'm ready <laughs> she was saying no i'm not gonna train you because i don't do anything she tells me to do she's like do this i'm like uh. she's like come on come on push it and i'm like uh, i'm doing it and she's like this is wasting my time and she's really strict with me my friend who's who's very who really really like exercising and sometimes I tag along I tag along but she she always telling me off like you're wasting my time come on get into it come on come on come on so sometimes I feel like hmm, stop telling me off I'm doing my best but anyway I will try again I'm ready <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready to start some exercising. So yes, I feel like there's more things that I can teach my kids rather than for them to to, to waste so much of their time on social media and become, a, and become addict to social media and the lifestyle of social media. And I hope, I hope I will not become an addict as well to social media because now that I've joined, um, YouTube and Instagram I hardly post anything on Instagram apart from when I have a new video out then I say oh friends I have a new video out check it out but apart from that I don't post anything I don't do like I don't even know how everything works I just put a, a picture here and there you know but that's about it I don't I don't understand that world yet I don't understand the world of um, Instagram I'm still learning the world of um, YouTube so yes friends I just um, all of you I'm asking all of you to do put it put your say like what do you think about social media are we is this generation getting too too focused too pulled in are we getting swollen by the social media lifestyle by the social media in general i just i feel like the people who actually need to have social media is people in their 70s in their 80s who come and share with us who come and share with us some of their life tips some of things that they have learned in in their life that that could be of of help to us things that they wish they could have done differently things that they have really enjoyed doing things that i feel like there's a lot of wisdom that could come from the older generation to us and then we can pass it on to the younger generation and yeah so i think i actually think social media youtube instagram snapchat snapchat should be for the older 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 
generation like in their 50s 60s 70s 80s 90s 100 100 and something they have brilliant stories to tell us and i think we could all learn something from them and for us in turn in return we can also pass it on to our children and they can also pass it on to their children it's until you wrong hmm? social media hmm. thinking about social media social media let me know friends what you think <laughs> let me know let me know i can't wait to hear from you guys because yeah i don't want to be called old school anymore when it comes to social media i feel like i've passed that i've i have qualified now to to be a little bit trendy now that i have a youtube account and instagram account so yes until you no longer is um auntie I don't know I'm not so much against it but I just don't like to be I don't want to be focused on it hundred percent like you wake up and the first thing that you do that's that's too much that like when you wake up people don't talk anymore people you could go to a restaurant that's what I saw last time when restaurants were open a family in front of us everybody were on their phone everybody were eating like this The whole time looking, no looking. Is that positive? Is that a positive step? That everybody are becoming like this. How can you be in a family and you come to visit your family or you are home with your family and you spend the whole time on your phone checking, checking, playing, doing something? Where is family time? Where is, let's go out for a walk. Let, where, where is, let's sit together and eat and talk and all that is gone because of social media. And you see that all the time and I feel like there's nothing we can do about it. But for us to just be, be cautious, you know, you need to be aware of it and trying to make some effort to communicate with your family, with your friends. But then again, it's just Auntie Lou being Auntie Lou. You guys might be thinking, what are you talking about? Just go to sleep, man. It's midnight. <laughs> I should go to sleep. Hey, I've had my little, my little opinion about it. I can't wait to hear what you guys think of it. And of course, please do let me know. You know my theme. Sharing is caring. I would like to hear what you guys think about social media. Until next time, friends, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.